welcome to Wild Heart Strong. Here we are at the campgrounds again, and what we're going to be doing today is juicing the Wild Heart Way. And this way is a walk into living hope. Why is that? Because juice gives you so much goodness. And today I want to give that goodness to you. Because these plants, these apples, these carrots, what they provide for us are nutrients that we cannot make ourselves. And if we can't make them ourselves, we need to get them from something that grows and prepares and has enzymes and so many nutrients that it is called, believe it or not, it is called real food. There is only one ingredient in this apple. So when you look out a package, it will be called apple. Isn't that amazing? It won't be called with 20 different names. It won't have an inch and a half and maybe three inches of ingredients. It won't be like creamer in coffee that has so many ingredients. I literally shake when I see that because I know what it does to you. But with this, an apple and a carrot, it is so beautiful because these fruits, these vegetables that we'll be using later today, have grown and grown and grown for you to give you health. Today, we're going to be juicing a number of juices. We're gonna start with apple, carrot, and I like to start very simply for my clients. Now, by the way, some of you might have noticed the snow here. It is about 25 degrees, so yes, indeed, I am freezing. But you know what? The juice is keeping me warm. Whee! So let's rock here. This is a juicer. There are many, many different kinds of juicers out there. This is not your high end. This is a more of a low end juicer. Well, why would I use that? Because it has a big mouth. And my clients tell me that if they're using a juicer, they want to use it quick and get done with it. It has to be easy to feed, feed. It has to be easy to clean when they're all done so that they can drink their juice in peace. But there's one thing that they have always forgotten, every single one of my clients, and that is why we're later on, after we juice, we're gonna talk about saliva and digestion because most people will juice a glass this big and drink it down in three minutes. That is not called honoring the vegetables that we have been given. I want my clients to drink a quarter of a cup and mix it with their saliva and drink it over five to ten minutes. Now that is hard, but let's rock it. We'll show you how to do it. In this juicer, it's very simple. We have the apples and we have the carrots. And one thing that I teach my clients, do your vegetables ahead of time, do them the night before. So if you're planting juice in the morning with a little protein to slow down the digestion, then what you want to do is get everything ready at night. You open up the refrigerator in the morning, turn your juicer on, and you have breakfast in four minutes. Why, you can't even go through McDonald's in four minutes. And I do not suggest that. So here we go. How does this work? This works very simply the parts. We could get a little close up here. This is the blade and in that blade you want to keep your blade as clean as possible and it will whip around at more revolutions than I can speak. That's pretty good. Isn't it? Um, and as it revolves it's going to masticate the juice. You'll see the juice coming out here, the fiber will come here. Some of my clients say, but I want all the fiber. Well, that's good. You can eat the fiber. You can put this in your meatloaf. You can put it in your vegetables. But juice is different than a blended juice, which we're going to do later on. Juice that we're doing now is extremely high in enzymes. And if it's high in enzymes, that means that the genes in that apple and carrot or whatever juice you're making has provided so much for you you want to drink it slow and mix it with your saliva so that you digest it. So let's show you how to make this juice. I keep my juices simple, usually two things, no more than three, because so many of my clients are quite sensitive. 